ahead and turn your alternator on. Yeah, that killed a low voltage light and the ammeter came up. You hear me loud and clear? Loud and clear. Number one, take Juliet. How did the base to the clouds look out there? You know, they're pretty oh. high, actually. Uh, there was a little bit of a small layer, a Not dead yet. layer, probably at 2,000 feet, but very Let's scattered. Let's lean. Number one, take Juliet, running. about the cloud bases because it looks so much lower than it is today. I thought about that driving out here. I'm like, come on, there's no way it's VFR, but sure enough. Stand by. Okay, right. I think we're good up there. Okay, let's get the weather. 123.85. What I want you to listen for is what is the code and what's the altimeter setting. Judge to airman. Runway 1432, close. AC 2390, All taxiways west of runway 119 are closed. Runway 14 and runway 32, Pappy, out of service. Runway 14, real out of service. Advise on initial contact to you of information Oscar. Information Oscar. Okay. We'll get the altimeter setting on the next pass. Oh, we don't think the airport information Oscar 1351 Zulu weather wind 1900 at 9er visibility 10 ceiling 3500 broken 6500 broken temperature 21 2.18 altimeter 29er 79er ILS runway 19er approaches in use notice to airmen runway 1432 closed altitude restricted low approaches authorized 9790 of runway 119er closed Runway 14 and runway 32, Pappy, out of service. Okay. And what are you showing up? Runway 14, real out of service. I'm showing, uh, advise on an end contact. One, zero, zero, one, five. five. Okay. Waco Regional Airport information, Oscar, one, three, five, one, two, All right, so one, two, one, point nine. All right, we're at two for transmit. Anybody hold? Not answering you? He's probably about to, uh, to the hour, he's probably cutting the ADS right now. We'll give him a second. You can go ahead and creep us forward and cut us to the left here if you want to, just save us a little bit of time. We're on a non-movement area here, so we don't have to have permission to roll. One zero eight zero Fox, try uh, wait for ground. Dog one zero eight zero Fox, try runway one nine or taxi via Delta Alpha. Okay, you can look at that sock up there. That wind is from the front and left, so we'll put the controls into us in front of us. And in, into? Oh, okay. Yeah, climb into, dive away from. Alright, uh, so he said Delta Alpha. So what do we do up here in this corner? We're going to go up here on Delta and then turn right on Alpha. Okay. Pull it down with power just a little bit.
morning ground, Sun Station 411 Tango 2 is coming off at Bravo 2, I believe it's Texas Aero. Alpha right here, so I'm yes, turning sir. right. That's Station correct. 411 Tango Julia, Waco ground, taxi to the ramp at Via Delta. Delta to the ramp, 411 Tango Julia, thank you. Right, now that wind's from behind you in the left, so we'll drive away from it. Cover six around, nice and cool today. Yeah, feels good. Is it supposed to continue raining today? Not today. Uh, overnight tonight looks like there's a chance, and then tomorrow, and then looks like the probably the worst day this week will be Thursday. Then forecast you never can tell. Ground for left Tango Julia. Zero four one Tango Julia, ground. Yeah, uh, can you check to see if you got a flight plan out to Las Vegas uh, for us? Las Vegas. Station one Tango Julia, affirmative, ready, copy. Uh, tell you what, yeah, go ahead. Citation four one one Tango Julia, clear to the Las Vegas airport as filed. Flight runway heading. Climb and maintain 3,000. Expect flight level 430, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126. Step us over to the right, just a little bit more, put that line between your knees. 27. Hey, clear okay. to Las Vegas is filed. Uh, runway heading after departure 3,000, 43 and 10, 126, 12, 22, 27 on the squawk. We appreciate it. Station 1, take on do that, read back, correct. No problem. It's a Monday night, what do you want to do? I don't know, let's go to Vegas. Okay, I'll call the jet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's 
Magneto with a Magneto check. Alright, checking Magneto, it's going to the left. Got a drop. Back to boat. Going to right. Got a drop. Back to boat. Magneto's carburetor heat. Got a little drop. Ammeter still zero. Suction gauge looking good. Throttle. Set to a thousand. All the way idle. All the way idle and then cut. try that carpet again. Alright, back to a thousand. No autopilot, no air conditioner, strobe lights. And landing. And landing lights on. Throttle friction lock. That's good. Brakes. Alright, we're ready for... Okay, let's think about uh, two quick things. Killer items one more time. We're on both. Trim set for takeoff. Flaps are where we think they are. This is in. And lights, camera, action. We got the lights. Let's go with camera. And action, go ahead and flip up to COM1. That's what so you're on tower. tower. Yep, I'm going to turn that volume up. And go ahead and put us on the whole short line. Remember, you want to stop and you can see that line over your nose. That way there's no doubt from that tower cab that you're clear of it. Yep.
I'm just looking through your quick flows, so remember climb A called airspeed 10 to 85, we had that, thought we were full open, make sure we were set. Cruise, power set, trim set, make sure leaned as needed. We already leaned for best power, so unless we got a little bit higher than 3,000, there's no need to really lean further. Now you adjust that, let's say you go up to 10,000, you'd have to adjust yeah. it again, then when you come back down, you'd have to adjust it again. Yeah, I'll, and I'll show you, it's not going to take much, because we already set for best power at uh, takeoff, but if I back it off a little bit, if we were a little bit higher, we'd get a little rise in RPM, but see how we're going to drop. Yeah. So I'd say, okay, when I come back to 2200, give it about four twists back in. Okay. Okay, let's just do uh, just a normal turn, just to the left, uh, almost 360. We'll roll out and use the Lake Whitney Dam as a reference out of the turn. You can go left or right. That's just a good, easy reference today. Standard right turn. Standard right turn. This is our clearing turn. We're going to need to be looking for traffic. Yep. Which means that turn needs to be set by looking outside, right? Not necessarily chasing that turn coordinator. Yeah. Is it going to be your hand or your feet that it's going to do that? Hand, there you go. Stick and rudder, not rudder and stick.
light fixture outside that given the power setting maintaining our altitude will also allow us to maintain between 45 and 50 knots. All right, I gotta slow us down a little bit more, okay. so I gotta pitch up more. Yep, use it. Still good on altitude. Use the trim, use the trim, make it easier on yourself. There you go. Yeah, you probably will end up having to add a little bit of power back in. Starting to lose altitude. Still slowing my speed, so I'm doing that right. Starting to get a little mushy. Definitely feel it, right? A little more, slowing down, alright there's 50, and a little bit more power just so we don't drift down, I drift down I mean just lose altitude real slow, alright now I kind of feel like I have that little, what I was showing you in the office, yeah, yeah. that's exactly what I'm looking for, so I gotta give it a little power, there right? you go, alright, and stop my drop. There Good we go. Deal. Now do we have a picture outside that's going to help us maintain between 45 and 50 with this power setting and this trim setting? Yeah, now I do since you said that. <laughs> okay. But we're going to largely do this by holding that picture and we're going to come inside and briefly check the altimeter and the airspeed, right? Right. Let's make a real slow right 360. We want to maintain 3,000 feet and 50 knots and we're going to do it as much by sight picture as we can. That's, that's too much turn. There you go. We want to nurse this thing around the corner. I'd add I'm some more power here. So there yeah. you go. You also speed up a little bit. No drop. Well, okay, not dropping, yeah. but I'm low. Be a surf. Get some more. Get some altitude back. Get to 2,000. We'll see if that does for you. There you go. Now I'm going above 50 though, so I need to pitch up a little bit more. There you go. We're not worried at all about the red turn. We're not in a hurry. We just want to keep it coordinated through the maneuver and maintain the speed and the altitude. See those eyeballs up here about 80% of the time. Not an instrument maneuver. Am I doing it right though right now? It's looking real good. I just want to make sure that you're not doing it by staring at instruments. Station one, take a drill, contact departure safe flight. Hey, can you take the controls just for one yeah, second? My controls. Your controls. My controls. Alright, my controls. Your controls. Looking good on my altitude, I'm holding it. Like 50. Yep, and just keep those eyeballs outside, I can still see them with your sunglasses on. Okay. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Keep railing on me, man. I'll get it. <laughs> still, I'm not like, I'm a little fast, so I want to. There you go. I'm starting to climb too, so if I just pitch up, that'll slow me down, right? Well, it's going to slow you down, but it's not going to stop the climb. To stop the climb, you're going to have to make a tiny, tiny power adjustment. I would say maybe 25 RPM. That's why, you know, I showed you early on to have your index finger where it is on that friction lock as a stop. Yeah. So you can feel those minute changes. All right, I'm still not liking my speed. I want a little bit less. Right? There you go, right at 50 now. And again, set a picture up there in front of us that allows you to hold it. That makes life way, way easier. We're trying to work smart, not hard here. I tell you what, I know you're busy looking at other things, but there is a, an amazing westerly window loft up here right now. We started the turn pointing to Lake Whitney Dam and we're almost halfway between Whitney and Aquila now. We're not even moving. It's like we're standing still. Yeah. Negative. Wow. We're hovering. Crazy.
Was that a slow enough turn for you, man? It took us five minutes to make that yeah, turn. Yeah, I'm happy with it. When we get to the Lake Whitney Dam again, we're gonna get the airplane to do a nice little stall here. Uh-oh. So, what we're gonna do is that same little sequence we talked about last time where we're simulating the landing. The same thing that I showed you when I made that landing. So as we put the nose on the dam, we're gonna go nice and slow and relax. Car repeat's gonna come on, power's gonna come idle. We're gonna pitch for 60 knots. Then we're gonna pick the nose up to the horizon and do everything we can to hold it there. So we're doing a power off style. Correct. And that's all the landing is. All okay, right. car repeat on. Power idle. Gently lower that nose to 60. All the way out to idle. There we go. Keep your hand on that throttle. Okay, there's 60. We're going to put the nose on the horizon. And we're going to do everything we can to hold it there. We should end up with full back pressure. So you just leveled off of the runway. Now you're flaring. Keep the wings level. When it does break, we're going to lower the nose gently. It doesn't need to be a steep bow. Just lower the nose gently. Full power. Car peed off. Pull the nose down. Pulling back, trying to make the fence. There it is. Gently. You don't need to push it forward that, forward that far. Okay. That was too violent, wasn't it? Well, you push the nose over too far and you never got full power in there. You're, you're 50 foot off the ground trying to cover from a stall. Let me show you something. My controls? Your controls. My controls. So watch how I'm going to recover it. You did a great job getting it to break this time. There's the break. Full power instantly. I think I was thinking about how you told me to pitch and then wait for the speed to build up and then add power, but that's not... I all never said that. Well, it was not a, another maneuver, I think, but... Well, that doesn't apply here. Yeah. Yeah, you want to get that nose down, but not way down, because we're low, right? I mean, we're... Yeah. Yeah, we're at 2,300 foot right now, but what if we're, you know, 500 foot on base of final, or what if we're even lower than that on final? We don't want to just put into a dive. We want to get that nose down to break the stall. Get that car beat and that power in there and recover. Okay. All right, so now it's real mushy because the flaps are still out there, but I made it away from the ground. I recovered from the stall, so now I'm going to bring them up. I won't notch at a time. I'm going to go ahead and give the airplane back to you, your controls. My controls. Your controls, and go ahead and build the rest of those flaps up. Yeah, and that power on stall, you lower the nose and get that power in there, and notice I killed the car beat too. Yeah. Because that car beat robs us of power. And bring the rest of the flaps up. Let's go back to 3000 and turn us back around to uh, about 150. That gets us heading towards Waco. And we're going to stall one more time on the way in. 150, 3000. Yep, 150, 3000. I'm going to continue my climb during the turn. We'll stall one more time on the way back in. It's like I said, you did a lot better job getting to stall. I just want to see that recovery be a little bit smoother. Again, because we are simulating something that's going to happen at a whole lot lower altitude if it, if it gets us. Right. And then we're going to head in and make a couple passes down the runway with that nose up like that, just to start showing you how we're going to put together that Dutch roll and that fleshy attitude okay. for a nice, smooth, straight landing. Alright, there's 150. And we're approaching 3,000. Okay. When I hit 3,000, I'm going to pitch forward a little bit. Hey, well, I'm going to correct the heading. It's a little bit for the wind. Let's go 160. 160 on the heading. Alright. Approaching maneuvering speed of 9,700. Alright. Back to 2,200. Didn't really do that right, but okay. Yeah, we're about 100 foot high, about 10 knots slow. Let's get us down to 3,000 and get your speed to 100. If I can just lower my nose a little bit. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to slow it right down as soon as we're level, but this is good practice to get you to configure the airplane. Yeah, 
completely centered actually ends up being a little bit too much right rudder in a power off saw. You end up having to leave it outside a little bit one way or the other. And this one's showing the same thing. Again, in terms of what we're practicing aerodynamically, not a big deal. It just as you get further and further along and you're flying, it gets more frustrating from a control standpoint because you're like, dang it, I started on 180, why can't I end on 180? So right. we're going to add in. But we've got about a, you see Lake Waco up here, you're actually pointing straight at the airport right now. We've got about a 10 minute drive in. I'm going to call a tower here in a couple of minutes and get us inbound for the option. I'm going to make the first pass on the runway in the configuration that I'm going to have you do it in, but I'm going to have you try it a couple of times. Okay. Golly, we're getting some. Yeah, I'm running now. That uh, air is certainly starting to heat up and rise. Fighting it a little bit, do you need some trim? Yeah, I do actually. I need some down trim. There you go. Alright, got the airport site there. That clearing just this side of the lake. Come yep, on. there we go. Now, lighting change will play with your mind because you think for a minute, oh crap, I can't see the airport. Well, it's just shadier there than it is where we've been. Now, whenever the, you feel those gusts and it's spinning our... That's not gusts. Well, whatever it is, but... Do we? Do I want to react to it with my rudder, to, or to just let it fly through it? You know what I'm saying? I just let it fly through it. And I might use a little rudder pressure here, there, if the wing just persistently drops. But the easier you work, the smarter you work, the less tired you are. If you're fighting every little thing, you come home worn out. Yeah. Remember that positive dynamic stability demonstration where we just kind of fold our arms and let it do its thing? The airplane wants to stay level for you, so unless the wind is just constantly rocking the wings one way or the other, try to work smarter. Alright, you got runway 19 in sight. Yep. Okay. Not lined up with it though. You're on a, a dog leg base to final and that's just fine. We'll fly into the center line instead of making the left turn way out here. Skyhawk 108 Fox, I'd like to tower. Skyhawk 80 Fox, start Roger, uh, make straight in runway up one niner. Uh, prior, prior to your arrival will be a uh, regional jet departure. Okay, go ahead and bring us down to 1,500 feet. Uh, now. Fox, right, current wind is 1014, gust 19, and altimeter 278. Okay, no change on the altimeter setting.
we're using that Dutch roll wing low technique to correct her crosswind. Other than that, we're always coordinated. Okay. Uh, five Charlie Papa, IFR cancellation received. Make left turnout when able. Contact departure. Left uh, we're pushing to the Okay, okay. Uh, go with levels of 1500. Before we cross into the airspace here, we'll do a little configuration check gumps. So gas is on both. Undercarriage is down, it sure better be. Mixture is set, power is set, seat belts are on. And when we do bring that power back below 1500, we'll get car peed on. Boom. We don't... PC 2814, wake the tower. Only under the green arc you put on car right? I'm putting on below 1500. Really? Okay. Direct call Here. Ah, uh, come out with full flaps now. Pulling through 
through 70. I'm going to fly this whole thing between 60 and 65 once we get over the runway. And we're going to do that by sight picture once we get low. But what is this? This is just like that power off descent part of your stall, right? Right. But now I'm adding some runway tracking and directional control into it. Now I am uncoordinated, but my nose is also down. Right? So my, I'm managing my sight picture so that I'm going to have a really hard time exceeding my critical angle of attack right now so I can get a flipping wing load correction. Still right around 70, I'm happy with the speed. Work myself downhill a little bit more with power. Power is going to control my altitude just like it's slow flight. Turn my nose up a little bit more and I'll start slowing to about 65 so I can get myself kind of mushy. There we go. There's the mush. Feel it? Yeah. I'm right on that bubble. This is the attitude as we've leveled the airplane off and we're about to flare for landing. What am I controlling my airspeed with? Pitch. If I get a little bit slow, I'll lower the nose slightly. What am I controlling my sync rate with? Power. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go around. So the car going to go off. Power's going to come in full. Hold that nose down. One notch of flaps. At 60 you do that? What time do you... Yeah, when I'm going to come through about 60. Now I know I got flying speed. Now we're coming up through 70. We got a positive rate of Zero Foxtrot, one mile past the park trend. The left close traffic approved. You're following a moody nine mile final. All right, still speeding up, still climbing. Rest of flaps come up. Waco Tower, Mooney 1045 X ray at 2000. Uh, expect the visual for one manner. Video 1045 X ray, Waco Tower. Okay, your controls. Two. Following a key Down, mixture still set, power still set, seatbelts are still on. 
As a booty, we're following, so we're going to extend out just a little bit here. Turn away from the runway a little bit. Your Foxtrot traffic is at uh, now four and a half mile final or at your tennis ball three miles at 1,400. Advise when you have traffic in sight. Okay, Mr. Booty. Relax. You're getting all worked up. Relax. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is traffic number two, runway one nine and the option. Wind one nine zero one three, gusty two, down one extension approved. Uh, one thousand five hundred feet. When he gets on your wingtip, we're gonna go power seventeen hundred car feet on ten flaps. Too 
fast, aren't I? I'm getting ready to slow you down, don't worry. Uh, as we cross the highway here, roll in a little bit, maybe a crank and a half a nose up, trying to see if we can slow it to about 65. Do we fight anything with the ailerons or do we hold the nose down? Hold the nose down. Alright, slow yourself down. Cram up. Cram up. Now we're going to track the runway and see if we can pitch for about 65 here. You can work us a little bit lower if you want to with power, but we've got to manage our speed with that pitch. You're right on that bubble here. Got to keep that nose pointed at the end of the runway. Nose at the end of the runway. Now add a little bit of power to hold yourself off. Speed's looking good. Maintain the speed, maintain the runway. Maintain the speed, maintain the runway. Yeah, you're a little bit higher than we normally are doing these. Yeah. Keep it pointed at the end of the runway. Oh. Keep it pointed at the end of the runway. You're doing just fine. Alright, what do we do to speed up? Lower the nose. Now you're going to sink, so what do you got to do? Add some power, right? There you go. Alright, go ahead and get rid of your car, Pete. Go full power. Alright, we're going to get past 60. We're going to hold that nose down. We're going to get that right rudder in there. There's 60. Uh -uh, I don't want to see this. Just hold the nose down. Bring one notch of flaps up. Keep the rudder in there. Right rudder. Alright, bring the rest of your flaps up. And with that win, we're going to shut it down for the day. Bring us back around. We're going to do a landing together here. Okay. Uh, get there. Fox, 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 Fox. Roger. We're going 1500 again or yep. 1200? Yeah, traffic inbound at the time if you want to play more. There's another traffic inbound if you want to do more approaches. Gotcha. Relationship pitch for your speed power for altitude is valid all the way down, right? Yeah. We're going to debrief that again when we shut down because I know you're busy right now. But you're doing a lot of this, right? Try yeah. to relax. Okay. The wind, I think, is making me do that. Uh, Brandon is making Brandon do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, breaking 90. Well, there's 1200. That's a student pilot thing, that's why I laugh. Just about everything is playing on the wind one way or the other. <laughs> I guess so. That wind, that, that, the wind just does what it does. It's uh, air moving from, from high to low, that's all it is. Alright, go ahead and turn it down when again we're going to have to point the airplane slightly to the east of the runway, to the right of the runway, to make it track parallel. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like you attack a boat. Yeah. Uh, as we level off, I'll get our check here. Okay, there's one turn away, one niner, wind 200 at 15, clear to land. Gas is on both undercarriages, down, we're still set, power still set, seat belts are still on. That wind keeps changing back and forth between left and right down there. My hand's starting to hurt, I had to push on this thing so oh, hard. Use your trip. Alright, those big fat white stripes down there, about about a thousand feet down the runway, yeah. those are the aiming points, the thousand foot markers. When we get a beam to them, RP on, power 1500 this time as we're closer in, and then lap 10. Right about now, car P on, power 15, laps 10. This is a little bit earlier than normal. We're going to go ahead and turn base, though, because of that wind. And keep that power at 1500. Turn coordinate. Again, we're going to have to go more than 90 degrees to crab into that wind. Okay. Uh, 
Probably a little more than 90 right there, right? Looks good. Power looks good, speed looks good. We're not interested in getting a whole lot lower just yet, because when we turn the final and pull that power off, it's going to downhill just fine today. Reduce your power to about 1200 RPM. Let that nose drop. We're telling the airplane, hey, I want you to sink more. We're just going to leave the flaps at 90, or sorry, 90, at, the, at uh, 10 degrees. I'm going to trim this nose up maybe a crank and a half just so it'll hold about 70. So we're going to use the 10 degrees of flaps here. And again, sight picture in the descent, what? 50 50, right? Right. Okay, sit back in your seat. Relax all the big joints. Zero one eight gun two four. Breathe normal. We're a little bit hot, so I'm gonna trim your nose up just a little bit more. About another crank. Add a little bit of power. Just squeeze in on about 50 RPM. Go. Keep that nose down. 50 50 still. We're still tracking the runway. We're still tracking the runway. Keep that nose down. Keep the nose down. This is the descent part of the stall. Okay, now we're going to level the airplane off and bring the power to idle. Now what are we going to do? We're going to pitch for the stall. Bring this yoke back, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Pull the yoke all the way back. Okay, zero you can turn Was that you or me? Or at uh, Bravo, your discretion, contact ground point nine or one off. Well, my hands are on the controls when we touch down. Must have been you. Really? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was you. I got clear when I knew everything was good. Not so bad. It's kind of easy, really. Yeah. Is it any different from the stall? Not, Not really. really. No. All right, we'll clear the runway here at Bravo. When we get past the little short line, we'll stop, run our checklist, and then we'll give ground a holler. Landing in the books. Touch all aircraft information, Quebec, now current, all time in air 2977. Pressure's coming down 100 every hour. We started at 2979. That means bad weather's coming, huh? Touch all aircraft information, Quebec, current, all time in air 2977. Okay, we know this is pretty bare bones, so we're going to do ours and then back ourselves up with theirs. So, I come across your car peed off. Flaps up. Never got your landing light off. Transponder standby. Can I turn the strobe off for now? Yes. Transponder standby. After landing, flaps up, car peed cold, transponder standby. We got their checklist done too. Now we're going to go to ground, give them a holler. Skyhawk 1080 Foxtrot Waco Ground, thanks for the parking via Delta. When, when you're talking, that light goes on, it's intercom, voice. Oh, it goes green because it tells me I'm transmitting. But we're clear to taxi, so we need to get rolling here. I just want to figure that out because I know I'm missing a lot, you know, just repetitive hearing you say it. You know, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not getting that. Yeah. So. We gotta figure that out. When we get turned on Delta here, we need to correct for that crosswind. It's gonna be behind us from our right out of the turn. Dive away from it. Dive away this way. We're right. Dive away. There you go. Is that right? That's right. You see, we get a you get a red light when it's just the intercom. You get a green light when you're on comm. 
when you're transmitting. I've noticed that. Makes me think like it's a squelch setting or something. That's uh, it ain't squelch or we wouldn't be able to talk to each other either. Slow it down. It's a side tone thing. There's a there's either a setting or a problem that's preventing the side tones. What it is. If it was squelch, like I said, we'd be we'd be yelling trying to talk to each other. And when that switches up, it isolates you and me from each other, and now we're together. That shouldn't affect side tones. Is that the wind making me go squirrely like that? Uh-huh. Well, we use that crosswind correction. I'm having to ride my left. Crazy. Screw up, we can 